Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm going to show how to draw three swimsuits. So let's get started! I made this template in Clip Studio Paint. If you'd like to use this template for practice, you can download it from my Tumblr page. Link in the description. The neckline for this swimsuit is going to be kind of shaped like the letter V. I draw a line starting at the shoulder and then going around the arm. I leave space in the middle because the knot is going to go there. I draw a rounded rectangle for the knot and then a raindrop like shape for the bow. This swimsuit is going to have an opening in the middle of it. It starts around the waist. For the rest, I follow the shape of the body. I add a flower pattern. You can add any kind of pattern you want or no pattern at all. I'm going to darken my lines with a Prismacolor Fine Line Marker. Then I erase my sketch. For the coloring, I start with using yellow for the shading. I apply shading on the left side of the torso and around the chest. Now that I've applied the shadows, I go in with a lighter yellow for the rest of the coloring. This swimsuit has a sweetheart neckline. I draw another line under the line I just drew for the rest of the detail at the top. I draw slightly curving lines for the straps. I draw two curving lines around the waist. Swimsuits are often tight and conform to the shape of the body. This swim top flares out at the bottom. I draw a curving line for where I want it to end. Next, I draw a wavy line across the bottom. Then I draw lines that head towards the waist for the folds in the fabric. Next I draw the shorts. I'm going to add stripes to some parts of the outfit. I try my best to make the stripes follow the form of the swimsuit.
Now I darken my lines and erase my sketch. For this one, I start coloring the shadows with a hot pink. Then I use a light pink. I use blue for the stripes. This swimsuit will also have a sweetheart neckline. The top has ruching, so the fabric has many folds in it. I try to make the lines of the folds follow the shape of the chest. The lower part is going to be the skirt. I draw a line for where I want the skirt to end. The skirt is loose and flows away from the body. I draw a wavy line across the bottom and then lines for the folds. The straps tie behind the neck. Next, I darken my lines and erase my sketch. Now for the coloring, I use a darker blue for the shading. Then I use a lighter teal color to color the rest of the top. The bottom is white, but I shade it using the light teal. Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Vani, Cash Money Matt, Julie, Pisatera, Eduardo, AJ, Stephanie, Nari Chan, and Daniel. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!